Hi, I'm Camille from Pareto Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be speaking about a change in bowel habits. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share for similar content. In recent times, increased attention has been paid to a change in bowel habits, whether it's loose stools or constipation. The reason behind this is a change in bowel habits is considered a red flag for colorectal cancer. However, as a clinician, it is important to be comprehensive and to consider other causes of this change. Causes of changes in bowel habits can include lifestyle related, inflammatory bowel conditions, psychological factors, medications, thyroid disorders, and even malignancy to include a few. When taking a history from a patient presenting with a change in bowel habits, ask about the following symptoms. How long has this been going on for? Is there any blood in the stool? Are there any mouth ulcers present? Are there any other associated symptoms such as bloating? Are the patient's symptoms cyclical? For example, are there periods of constipation followed by periods of diarrhea? Is there any abdominal pain? And is this associated with the ingestion of food? Is there any change in the color of stool? These are just a few questions you should include in your history. It is then vital that you also explore factors such as stress, exercise, diet, medication, iron supplements, and even things like opioids. Like with all history taking scenarios, make sure you rule out red flags, especially weight loss, loss of appetite. If you have access to blood results, then look out for the all important iron deficiency anemia. If you suspect cancer, you should arrange an immediate two week referral wait for this patient. They may need endoscopy procedure. Now let's look at an example history in action and take it from there. Hi, my name is Camille. I'm one of the advanced care practitioners here at the general practice. Can I take your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm Nikhil Raja and uh, I'm 23 years old. Mr. Raja, nice to meet you. Um, can I take a little bit of a history from you? What brings you into the practice today? I, I mean, I've been holding this off for a little while, to be honest, but I've, I've kind of noticed that my bowels are changing. I don't know how this, I mean, my bowel habits are changing. I guess that's how I, sh I should phrase it. Okay, so you're definitely doing the right thing by coming in. Thanks. So tell me a little bit, so obviously I can see that you've been embarrassed about it, but it's a totally a private and confidential environment you're in and we take your symptoms very seriously, okay? So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, thank you very much. I mean, it's sort of a little bit embarrassing to be honest, but uh, I've just noticed that I've just had looser stools and, uh, you know, it's just getting worse and worse, really. There are points where I have to really run to try and you know, control my bowels, etc. And it can get quite embarrassing for me. Yeah. And how long has this all been going on for? I'll probably say about four or five months. Months? Uh, yeah, you know, give or take. But it's particularly bad over the last two or three weeks. Okay. And would you say you're, you're having times where your stool is normal and then loose? Or is it getting gradually... I mean, now it's just loose. When you say loose, is it like, you know, not formed or is it pure water or what is it? I'd probably say it's, it's not formed. Okay. Uh, and when I look at my stool, it's, it doesn't quite just look like a stool. Okay. So I can see you're quite worried about that. Yeah. I mean, I can see blood. I can see like, it sounds horrible, but it's like jelly. Yeah. Um, it, I'm sure it's not normal. I'm, I've like, you know, I don't know what to do. We'll, we'll definitely help you with these symptoms. Okay. Thanks. So in a typical day for the last week or two, how many times are you going to the toilet? Maybe two or three times a day. Three times a day. Uh, to poo. Yeah. But like I said, it's just soft watery. And are you having to get up in the night to go to the toilet? I have once or twice, but that's not, that's less of an issue, I think. Okay. And when this is all going on for the past, are you having any abdominal pains or cramps? I do get cramps, mainly on probably my left side of my tummy. Yeah, and are they severe, mild? I think can be quite bad. You know, I'll be rolling over, riding around in pain, and I'm not really too sure what helps aside from just time. Yeah, and what are you, do you using to help yourself? Pain relief? Just uh, a bit of paracetamol. Anti-diarrhea tablets? And yeah, exactly, as you've guessed. And lo and behold, none of that has helped. So you've used Imodium and things? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, but no, no difference? No. Nah. Okay. Is there anything particular, you mentioned this has been going for five months, anything particular why, obviously we're happy, but is there was any change that prompted you to come in? I mean, I've, I've had, uh, I'm a university student and uh, I'm a master's student, I've had exams. So I know in stressful situations, you can have change in your bowel habits and you know, the, the, the gut has a mind of its own kind of thing. So I just thought maybe it's down to that. My exams were done maybe about a month and a half ago. And it's just becoming, it's more like a pattern to it now. And I I'm not stressed. I've passed mm. my exams, I'm happy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it doesn't quite add up. Have you suffered with symptoms such as this in the past? Or is it the first time? First time, yeah. So you've not got like 
IBS in the past, you know, loose stools. No. No, no. No, okay. Have you ever had any periods of constipation while this has been going on? None at all. No, okay. And is there any strong family history of sort of bowel conditions, anything like that? Not that I know of. Any parents, any siblings? Parents are good. I've got two younger siblings and they're fine so far. Okay. And has a period like this happened, like I say, definitely not in your younger years, anything like that? This is the first time yeah. experiencing. Okay. Is there anything that happened around four or five months ago? Any travel, any change of lifestyle, diet? No, nothing like that. diet, anything like that. And how about in yourself? What's your appetite like? Like I don't want to eat. My appetite's absolutely fine. But I just don't feel well myself. Mm. I feel like I've got fever 24-7. But I don't think I do actually have a fever, if that makes sense. Fine, I understand. I've got, you know, lots of joint pains. Joint pains. You know, stiffness. And I just don't feel up to do many things. Energy-wise? So and so. Are you working at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm in between at the moment. I've just finished my master's and I'm due to start a grad scheme. But I mean, I, I don't feel like doing anything at the moment. Okay. So let's just establish. So four or five months, loose stools, pain in the abdomen, sometimes the left side. Sometimes it can get really severe, causing you to writhe in pain. You explained some blood earlier. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little about that. Is that in the bowl when wiping or? In the bowl. Right. And is it mixed in with the stool? Definitely. Okay. And you said explaining some mucus or jelly you were explaining? Yeah, but it's not. Every time? Yeah. Okay, fine. All right. You look concerned. Well, these are some of the symptoms, uh, you know, we definitely want to investigate further. But I'll take some more heavy questions from yourself, if that's okay. It's fine. I'm, you know, here for that. Was there any skin change, especially on your legs, anything like that? I've got some purplish kind of things that I can show you a little bit later, yeah. but they're like purple blobs kind of just come out randomly. I thought it was bruising, but I definitely don't hit, hurt myself yeah. down there. Okay. And have you noticed any weight loss as well? No, I mean, weight, it's hard to say, to be honest. What about changes in your clothing normally? That's how- well, my mum was telling me that this looks a little bit more, you know, baggy on me when I, right. when I left the house, but I guess it's yeah. subjective, isn't it? Okay. So in terms of your past medical history, are you, do you have suffered from any long-term medical conditions? No, I'm, I'm really, um, really healthy. Okay. And do you take anything regularly over the counter? No. No. Okay. And would you say you have any allergies? No, no allergies. And do you have, you've not really been in hospitals at all in your past, you not had any recent scans, anything like that? Nothing at all. No. All right. What about you? A little bit about your social history. Are you a drinker? Alcohol? I mean, university days, definitely. Yeah. Um, but of course, now that I'm off uni now. So in a typical week, how many how at, many alcoholic drinks would you have? At the moment, or for the past month and a half since I've left uni, nothing. And what about smoking? Do you smoke at all? No. You're a non-smoker? Mm. Okay. And you said you're in between jobs looking for a drink? I am, yeah. Okay. So you said in your family history, there's no one that you know that's been diagnosed with any bowel disease, anything like that? Okay, fine. So Mr. Raja, I just want to explain a few things about from what you've said um, and explain what we'll do next. So I'll take some routine observations, including blood pressure and things like that, and your temperature. I'll also examine the abdomen, stomach, and mm. see if there's anything there. And also like to examine the back passage as well, just to see if there's any hemorrhoids, anything that can contribute to some of the pain, some of the symptoms, the blood that you're seeing in your stool. Okay. Have you suffered from hemorrhoids in the past? No, never have. Okay, well, we'll have a look. Okay. You know, based on these symptoms, I'd also like you to present a stool sample. Okay. Um, and we'll send that to the laboratory, just looking for things like any blood in the school. Sometimes we can see it overtly. This is called overt bleeding. Sometimes it's covert bleeding as well. And this can be signs of serious uh, issues. So we'll be testing for a few things. Uh, there's some, a test called fecal calprotectin. This can give us an indication of inflammatory bowel disease, of which there are two types. Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Okay. Have you heard of those? Not really. Okay, so they're inflammatory bowel conditions, but you know, we'll explain more about them if we get a possible a indicative of that. Okay? Sure. So I don't want you to worry too much of that, about that at the moment. Uh, is that what you might be worried about? Or? I am worried about that. Lesser of concern, obviously, in younger patients. We do sometimes think about, you know, there's been some recent uh, famous cases in the media about young people with, unfortunate to say, bowel cancer. I mean, I hope that's not the case with me. Yeah, of course, and us too. But, you know, we have to be diligent in our work and, you know, have a look and if we're suspecting that as well. Okay. Okay. So that will trigger a, a hospital pathway where I refer to the gastroenterologist at the hospital and they may see you quite soon. As part of their investigations, they may wish to consider a CT scan. Sure. And also a colonoscopy, which is a camera test of the back passage. They will explain more in further detail and I can pass you some leaflets to explain this. That would be very helpful. Another thing that I want to do is give you some safety netting. 
Okay, so if this pain becomes quite severe, you're unable to eat, vomiting, very loose stools, perhaps six, seven times a day, you need to present yourself to hospital because this can become quite serious. Okay. All right, so that would be a cluster's emergency and you'd go there to the surgeons and then the gastroenterologist would also look at your case as well. Sure. So do you think everything's clear? So I don't want to start medication, but paracetamol is probably the best thing for pain relief at the moment. Okay. Uh, eat a slightly like simple diet, I wouldn't advise spicy foods, these kind of things. They're probably better for your symptoms as well. Okay. All right. And advise against drinking alcohol and smoking for the time being. Sure. All right. So if with that all in charge, let's take some observations and examine your optimum. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much.